What's up, Ravens fans? It's time for this week's edition of Ravens Mailbag. Lots of good questions this week as the Ravens have to trim their roster from 90 to 53 players. So let's go ahead and start right there. The first question today comes from Angel Big Mac. And the question is, are we going to trade RG3 or cut him? Well, for the record, I also think there's a third option, yeah. which, which is keep him. And <laughs> yeah. that's also on the table. Yeah, exactly. I think the Ravens are either going to keep or trade RG3. I just don't think that he's going to be a straight out cut because I think he's played so well in the preseason that if the Ravens don't decide that they want to keep him, which that is very much still a possibility, then I think somebody else out there will want him. And I think the Ravens could get a little bit of a return on their investment at a tight roster position there. So, you know, this is really tough and I think it's going to go down to the wire. It, a lot of it is dependent on how well Lamar Jackson plays. You know, he's had some struggles throwing the ball, but he's gotten progressively better as the preseason has gone along and kind of had a breakout game in Miami. So you look at it and you say, well, you know, if Joe Flacco were to go down, maybe Lamar is ready to step in and be that starting quarterback. Now, on the flip side, you say, well, if you're going to use Lamar right now in tandem with Joe as kind of an offensive hybrid weapon, what if Lamar gets hurt mm -hmm. doing that? Now you don't have a backup quarterback and you'd like to have RG3. Plus, I think RG3, he's just he's done really well here people really like him he's a good mentor for Lamar Jackson so he's got a lot going for him so I think the Ravens are probably going to hear and listen to offers for him potentially see what they can get and then make a decision I think this is going to be one of the toughest decisions that yeah. Ozzy and the group has to make over the next few days all right the next question this one comes to us from official O'Shea and the question is have either Janarian Grant or Tim White earned a roster spot or are they both still on the bubble. I think they're both still on the bubble. These are two guys that are competing for one of those final receiver spots and also to be the starting returner. And to be honest, neither of them have really seized the opportunity. They both had a fumble a couple of weeks ago. Now they improved on that and they came back and they did not fumble the ball against Miami. But the Ravens want somebody to win this job. They're waiting for somebody to have a breakout performance. And both of these guys have shown flashes in practice, but then when they've gotten the game, they haven't really shown that breakout ability. I think this one is still very much up in the yeah. air. I, I don't really have a good sense of who it's going to be. The Ravens also have Willie Sneed in the conversation there at punt returner. He's kind of the safety net if the Ravens were to not go with either Tim White or Janarian Grant. Here's the perfect scenario for the Ravens. One of these guys goes out there in the final preseason game and takes one to the house for 100 yards. You know, that's what the Ravens want and I think it could come down to really if someone makes a big play on Thursday night. Tim White kind of has flashed more as a receiver. Yes, yeah. He led the Ravens in receiving in Miami but I would say that Janarian Grant has flashed a little bit more as a returner and been given more opportunities. You know he's got a little bit of a pinball kind of you know, way to his game a little bit. He bounces off some tackles and keeps going, so the I like that. Value. The other thing I say, too, is that Tim White does have the benefit of last year. He's yeah. flashed last year in training camp, but I think that he probably would have been on the team before he got hurt, yep. so you got to consider that as well. All right, our last question comes from at Code Spider, and the question is, has Justin Tucker come back to earth? He seems to be missing more than usual. No, I think that Justin Tucker is still otherworldly. He's still an, a kicking alien out there. I mean, Justin Tucker, I'm not worried about missing going 0 for 4 from beyond 50 yards in the preseason. It's the preseason. Plus, one of those was from plus 60 yards. I mean, these aren't like, you know, there's the one 51 yarder in Miami. The other ones are like 58, 59, and 61. I know. And, and one of them got blocked. And too. Tucker, Tucker's been so good over his career that we come to think that like 58 yarders are chip shots for him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, no, I'm not too worried about Justin Tucker. I think come regular season, he's going to be just fine. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. So, that's it. That's all the time we have for questions this week. But as always, send in your questions to us on social media using the hashtag Ravens Mailbag. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you.